Yo, what is up boys? Welcome back to the YouTube. Here we have solo guide number five. Today's loadout was requested by a ton of people in my chat and I think a few people in the comments. A lot of people wanted me to run a uh, Romero uppercut. So today we're gonna be doing the Romero uppercut, but I'm using the Romero Talon just because the uh, Blasted Heath skin is is way better than uh, the other the other skin for the regular Romero. There is pretty much no difference between regular Romero and Romero Talon. The only difference is the handling, but that doesn't really matter since you're not ADSing a shotgun. And generally, you shouldn't be ADSing a shotgun. And we're gonna be running the redneck skin. Feels appropriate since we're running shotgun and like a revolver, you know, uppercut. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how it goes. Got my normal tools uh, and normal consumables here. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another week. It's good to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support recently. I really appreciate all the support on the solo guides and on uh, the assassin guide was also released. You guys are absolutely legends and I appreciate all of you guys. We're gonna get into this. Also, another thing. You guys, I did a poll and you guys requested that we do longer episodes with less edits. So depending on how the games go, I might just do two games and post the whole the whole game so the video is gonna be a lot longer but depending on the games go we'll see how it is okay so i don't know we'll see how it goes all right so we got a single bounty voice crack by the way <laughs> we got single bounty here romero uppercut on the old map daytime uh check out where the extracts are at okay <clears throat> these extracts are they're okay. They're okay. What I'm gonna do here is I'm not even gonna grab the clue at Cypress. I know a few episodes ago I said, oh, whatever, I'll start grabbing the clues so I can play like uh, the people that need the money. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk up with Dark Sight, see if boss is there, right? See if boss is here with Dark Sight, and then, uh,. We're gonna go pitching into Healing Waters Church really quick. So boss isn't here. So we're just gonna go straight to pitching and then to Healing Waters really fast so we can uh get ahead of the get a get a head start on people. Basically. So we're gonna go pitching, grab Clue. We're gonna check to see if we see anybody. Uh, we can actually see where the Clue is at. It's in the back building there. So people should be running up, like here maybe, but I'm not seeing anybody. I'm not seeing any AI spawning on the road either. Or the, oh, there's an AI. Someone's there then. A grunt just spawned. So somebody is 100% at Devant. Basically the way the AI works in this game is a player has to spawn it and they have to get close enough to spawn it, right? So... And I, and I didn't get close enough. The range is kind of like... I, I don't know the exact range. I would say it's about 100 meters. Maybe 150? But, um... A player has to get within 100 meters of where AI ca can spawn to spawn it. If that makes sense. So since that, that, since that grunt spawned, that means someone is over there. It definitely wasn't me that spawned it, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong here, but I, I think I'm correct. So boss is not Devant. That means they're gonna come here. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. If I should wait here, see if they come, or or what? We heard a danger at Slaughter. We have shots inside the church as well. I'm just checking over here right now. Hmm. Oh, here they come! Here they come! We do have shotgun, so we can play really aggressive here. One dead. Flashbang. It's 
one here. He might have a sparks. So I gotta let my health regen. Jump up. We should push this guy. I thought there was one here. Oh, he is. I thought I thought I saw one. The other one might be going for res. So I'm gonna reload quick and push. No res. Oh no. This poor guy. This poor guy chat. Chat YouTube. That's just unlucky. <laughs> I think he was a newer player. I feel bad. I feel bad. Okay, so there was a team. Oh, this guy wasted my meds, man. It's okay. I'm just gonna heal. There was a team at Healing Waters Church. Maybe they're coming over here. I'm not sure. Damn, dude, this guy is newer to the game. This guy was newer to the game. He he was just really out of position there, and the AI really messed him up there in the fight. What he should have done is just immediately shot the emulator to get rid of it so he can focus on the fight. Yeah, they're coming. I figured they would come. And we have a flashbang now. So... Can make it work. These guys sound like they want to push really hard. So I want to be able to fall back into the basement. I want to bait them in as close as I can. Yes. Last team is lock bay as well. They're running away. Tagged him. I want to make them turn around. Gonna grab her shotgun ammo. I'm not gonna loot her body because I could use it to loot meds back later. Since I am full right now. This might make him turn around. This team might turn around. And it sounds like boss is gonna be luck bay. Nah, they're still running. They're still running on. They don't care about me. They're just gonna leave me be. Honestly, I should grab the martini. In this situation, I should grab the uh, bear man wannabes martini, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might stalk them, or maybe I go through the water? I don't know, I think I just stalk them. I'm just gonna stalk them. See how it goes. I think they're doing boss at the assassin, so I'm gonna let them cross the bridge, I think, and get inside. Yeah, there's a guy there. Let them get inside, and uh, then I'll come up behind. <clears throat> Did they cross the bridge already? Oh, damn, they crossed fast. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna move up. Sp the boss is here. Oh, they're there. I'm gonna hurry and cross. Boss is red, of course. Pull the shotgun out for the close range here. There was two teams here. I'm gonna put some traps down, maybe? Try to bait them in. Oh, come on, get- let me put this down. I 
If I had throwing knives right now, it'd be perfect. Okay, so there's it's a team here and a team over here. Nice. Good flash here. Okay. Last one's on the White House, I think. In here somewhere. Oh shit, he's here. Oh, I'm actually dead, maybe. We traded, guys. No! We traded. God damn it. And there's a team coming in as well. That sucks. GG's. I, we shouldn't have traded. If, if ping wasn't a thing, we wouldn't have traded there. So as you can see, the having a shotgun is extremely powerful in solo games. Um, if you're allowed to get close to a team, like you, you control the fight. You fight on your own terms if you're able to get close. The only time having a shotgun against solos uh, sucks is when when you can't get close, right? When you can't get close, it's it's really trash. Like it, it's really really bad. But uh. Luckily, that game, we were able to get close to all the teams we fought. So that was really, really nice. I'm going to pick up Pac Mule and we're going to go again. That sucks that we traded, dude. Has that, has that happened before? During the solo guide? The solo series? I think it has. I'm not sure, though. Ugh, the trades, man. The trades. Okay, so we spawn Devant. Devant on this map is probably the most deadly or the most dangerous place to spawn because you can have a team um, spawn at Slaughter on this, this road here. There's a spawn point right here and a spawn point right here. So you could have every team in the game pretty much at Devon at the very beginning. So first thing you want to do at Devon is, is either go slaughter and fight people here or come up here and check the other spawns. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to... We actually have Clue really close to me, so that's nice. I'm going to jump on the roof really quick and just check the other spawns here. You would see them in this area. I'm gonna wait like 10 more seconds for the uh, far spawn to come up. Also, the AI is not spawning in. You see how there's no AI over there? There's usually AI spawned in all over the place here. So the fact that I don't see any, it's pretty likely that there's no nobody over there. Okay. We're gonna make our way over to church really fast so we can get ahead of everyone, get the head start. Try not to hit the horse and all the sound cues since we are shotgun. We wanna be able to get close to teams before they know we're there, right? That's the whole goal. As you saw last game uh, at pitching, first team, I was able to get close, I was able to get in front of them, and I was able to, do, to pretty much dominate that fight and control the fight and fight on my own terms. So if I can get to church before the slaughterhouse team is there, or the catfish people get there, then we have a pretty good chance of winning this game. Or winning the team fight, at least. 
Normally, I would go to the left and go to the ladder, but I'm just gonna take a risk here because slaughter people could be coming up right now and might be able to see me. But I don't think anyone spawned at slaughter. I think we're good. Uh, we got both the clues here. Well, one's on the other side, but... Boss is here. Nice. I'm going to hurry and grab Clue. We're gonna check for AI from Catfish. See, no AI. Oh, they're, they're popping in. They're popping in. That means people are coming. That means people from Catfish are about to be here. Unless I spawned them. I don't think I spawned them. I don't think I did. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I did spawn them. There's a guy right here. Did I just see a guy there? Yeah, there's a team coming. How did this guy get here? Since I let him pass, his teammates will think this is clear. Oh, it's... It's two teams. Am I dead? I'm waiting with my knife, so I can knife the first one. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm confused. So I can knife the first one? And then Romero the other one. He's on the tower. Should be an easy wall bang. Dodge his shots. Reload. Tag him. I'm gonna use my first aid kits. So that first girl we fought or saw is already fighting another team. I should have killed this guy in the tower sooner. It's my bad. I'm gonna reload. He jumped down, I believe. He ha does have a shotgun as well. I think he has Obrez and Romero Hatchet. He's inside. I'm gonna loot these bodies. Um. That double barrel girl, the black tier two with the hat, it looks like, kind of looks like Lorona. 
is fighting the other team right now. Grab the sparks for some ammo. It is still red. I need to... Here we go. Yeah, I need to kill this guy. Could do a nice vault here. He probably doesn't know about it. I'm gonna go on him with the knife. I felt confident doing that because he has out of his shotgun shot. The other team is close. I have to heal here. Now I am unsure if the double barrel girl died to this team. I'm gonna go super slow all the way through the basement and come behind these guys. Unfortunately, they messed up the audio um, with basement compounds, so you have to you have to go super slow now. Normally, you could just sprint across here, but. I'm going to uh, go really slow. I'm going to go fast now since he threw something. It's making noise. I'm going to open this. He threw a chaos bomb. Okay. I'm going to go slow and get some info here. I don't really know where they went. And they don't know where I went. She died. So she died, guys. Okay. And they burned her. Nice. Savages. They're over here. By the stairs that I went down. So she was another solo player. That's interesting. One of them's inside. One of them's right here. Oh, he just closed the door, shit. Gonna watch this window so I can move up. Get the shotgun out. They're gonna start chipping away at boss. There's one above me. She has a double barrel. She revived. Okay, nice. All dead here. Is it white? It is white, boys. Whew. We did it. This is why, sh like, shotguns are so good, guys. Because you can just control the fight. Did you see how I controlled that whole fight? Like, I- I chose when I could fight them. 
they don't get to choose that because I have the shotgun and they don't. If they had shot, well, he did have a shotgun, but damn, dude, shotguns are probably the best way to play solo, honestly. Like, you can play sniper all day long, but the problem with playing sniper is, uh, the games are gonna get dragged out for a very long time. Shotguns allow you to clean fights up and get the game over with fast, you know? Okay, that's a duo, by the way. That is a duo, I'm pretty sure. Because if I'm solo... Oh, it could be trio, actually. We killed six. There's a seventh body here. I'm eight. That's nine. Ten. Yeah, it, it could be a trio or a duo. I don't know. So anyways, shotguns are just super good. Like, super, super good. If these guys leave, that's okay. That's all fine. Heavy, light, heavy, remember? Heavy, light, heavy on the spider. There's cash here they didn't take. Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like those guys are just gonna leave. I think they were a... Uh, I don't know what team size they are. Probably duo. Probably trio. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that we got six kills and that we won. We're gonna get a bounty. So that's super nice. And we have a ton of bodies to loot as well. For uh, extra meds and money. Nice. So, it looks like we're going to be doing three three games today. Because the first game was 13 minutes. And this game is only 15 minutes. So, looks like we're going to be doing three games. I'm pretty sure the server's wiped. Those guys killed the team. Or, um, I don't know. There's some crouchy boys around. Maybe just farming the map or something. I think everybody's dead. We killed... Six and that trio that did boss killed one person, so that's seven. I'm eight, and then those guys are nine and ten, or maybe nine, ten, eleven. So there's another solo somewhere or a duo somewhere. But I think I think that's everybody. If I'm gonna cut here to next game, if something happens, I won't be cutting, but. Uh, I think server's wiped, so we'll just hop on the next game. But if something does end up happening, I will obviously show that. Alright, boys. That was a really good match for us. Um, we got seven kills. We got the spider with the bounty bonus. Since we're solo, it's really nice. Something on my way out that I did and that you guys can do too is if you're confident the server's clear, um, farm some meat heads. So on my way out, I farmed a couple meat heads to uh, get some more trait points. So I'm gonna pick up some doctor and physician here. I'm gonna also grab a uh, kite skin, light foot, the signature. That's gonna be really good with us for for us with a shotgun. Because we're going to be able to do some, you know, life of things and be able to uh, be really, really quiet and stuff like that. Um, I'm thinking I go Bloodless, Bulwark. But I kind of, you know what, I'm going to go Gator Legs, Dauntless. And I'm also going to pick up... Um, Ghoul, maybe? No, because it's too risky to heal. Probably Bulwark. Yeah, we'll go for some Bulwark. Nice. Uh, I'm also going to bring my poison, or my antidote shot, and a stamina shot, since I have doctor now. And physician, I can heal with the, the first aid for 100 HP, right? And then, uh, the stamina shot and the antidote. Antidote, remove all poison, and stamina is going to help me rotate and get to places quicker. So I'm probably just going to pop these right at the start, and then just bum rush somewhere. Let's get it, guys. Nighttime!
Here we go. We got double bounty. Um, you know, double bounty is whatever. Personally, I would rather single. I'd rather a single bounty because more people will fight and show up that way. But that's okay. Um, we got two extracts on the left here and one on the right. Bottom right, bottom left, almost top left. Pop the antidote. We're gonna go ma. We're gonna see what's up. So Romero uppercut is a really good loadout. It's very very strong as you can see in the last two games. But uh, you know how I said with shotgun you're allowed to fight on your own terms if you're able to get close enough. That is true, but the problem with Romero is once the shot is gone, once you use it, all pressure you have is gone until you reload, right? And and to prove that point, you can see that that guy shot his Romero hatchet at me, right? The uh, tier one white shirt last game. And then I just was able to push him with a knife because he had no Romero shot. That's why I like Spectre or Double Barrel better over Romero. Romero's great, don't get me wrong. But um, the the great thing about the Spectre and the Double Barrel is that you still have pressure after you shoot one time. There's still like that pressure like, oh, I could get one tapped by the second shot of the Double Barrel or, you know, the, the third or fourth shot from the Spectre. We did hear Bomb Lance up there, but I'm just going to ignore them. I'm gonna try to get the boss. We are playing shotgun, so we want to be able to get to a place and hold it down a bit. If I was playing uh, mid-range or long-range, I would go up there and try to fight them. So, because no one's gonna be coming up north uh, this match. So I would go over to Blanc, where that bomb lance was, and try to fight them around this area, maybe. And uh, get a team off the map as soon as I can. But I'm just gonna hurry and... Pick up clues. They're already at Maw, actually. You know what we could do? We could get traps up here. We could get some traps going. There's a team here. Shit. We need to just rotate completely. We need to do a big rotate. We have a team of iron and a team coming from Ma. I'm just gonna rotate all the way around. Iron, I think. Got a lunchbox here. It gave us our traps back. That's okay. Hmm. I want to get inside the boss layer of Ironworks as fast as I can. And then maybe third party, the two teams fighting. Potentially. Although, I, I don't know where these guys went. Where do they go? Clue's red. No? It's white. Where do they go? What? I don't know where they went. Maybe they... Oh, you know what? They... Hmm... I actually am so confused. They went to Fort somehow, but they didn't- I didn't hear them go there. So that's why I'm confused. There's the bomb lance team. Maybe I can get a headshot in the water here. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm really bad. Oh. 
That's okay. This team is going to be like have their backs turned and the team at fort is going to be able to kill them in the back. Maybe. Going to grab some ammo and I'm going to rotate to fort from the other side. So I'm going to go out ironworks and come down towards come around from Bradley. <coughs> I'm gonna rotate all the way around here. Boss has banished assaulters, but they have no extracts. And we know where the other two teams are at. I mean, it is possible the duo is somewhere. Uh, since I'm solo, there could be another duo somewhere. But we know where six people are. Sorry, nine people. Nine or eight people. Six are here at Fort. And then there's two or three assaulters. Okay, these guys are going to start working on boss. It's a good time for me to get close. Oh, they actually killed it already. Interesting. I'm actually confused about where the ironworks people went. Dude, these guys are weird. They're throwing fusies everywhere. I'm gonna light foot up here. Two dead. We don't know where the third is. He's down the stairs. No way. Oh my god. I think there's two teams here still. We looted some really crappy shit there, so I'm gonna use it. Now we have actual useful stuff. Okay, so there's a team on the roof. Interesting. You might drop down the flash. Gonna get the combat traps down. Because these guys are gonna try to push. Kill her and hurry and go up. I should have burned her, actually. Hmm, I'm just thinking... This is a really weird match. There's still one on the roof. I'm gonna grab bounty maybe and then see like what's happening. Yeah, this guy above got her. Nice. That's everybody. Whoo! Holy guys. Okay, I wasn't really talking much there, but um hopefully you could see what my thought process was in that situation. Uh 
The moment I killed the Nyakalite, that guy's like, Hey, I'm gonna go for the res. I should have enough time. But luckily, for me, he didn't have enough time. And this was the team we saw in the water as well. Luckily for me, I knew he didn't have enough time, so... We were able to, uh... Make it there. And, you know, get that kill and win that fight. I wasn't going to farm her, but uh, I kind of had to because this guy revived from outside, which is actually a really good play by him. I might be able to actually catch this team as well, so I'm going to grab LaBelle, I think. Should I grab the LaBelle? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to grab the LaBelle. Hmm. No, nah, let's, let's stay true to the loadout, dude. Let's stay true to the loadout. I'm gonna go for this team. For the content. I think they actually got in a fight, because I'm pretty sure I saw the bounty picked up by three different names, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm going to uh, head over to Hemlock and uh, wait for those guys, so I'm probably gonna cut it here. All right. So for some reason, they wanted to come to me, so I'm gonna meet them in the middle at Sweet Ball. That, that's fine, dude. They wanna come to Sweet Ball? I, I like fighting here. I'd rather fight at Sweet Ball rather than a uh, Fort, or sorry, not Fort, Hemlock. Gonna get some traps ready so I can defend myself from these guys. They are gonna push me, it looks like, so that's really cool. I respect that, dude. I respect people that like fighting. Mad respect. If I win or lose this, GG's. Like, GG's. Hmm. But they're gonna be long ammo Andes, maybe. Okay, so it's three guys. I do have the trait that lets us place traps silently, so they don't know there's traps there. Which might be really good. Gonna go for this one. Last one's above me. Okay, things are happening really quick, so I just have to decide what I'm doing. He's outside, okay. Let's get rid of this armored. I heard him going for the revive there. I heard him run across, so I just had to peek him really quick then. That sucks the AI was on me, but it worked out in the end. Yo, respect. Yo, GG, guys. Respect for uh, coming and fighting. I appreciate that a lot, boys. You guys are legends. GG's. Really big GG's. You guys are really good people. GG's. I respect that you guys want to play the game and have fun. That's awesome. GG, guys. So... So things started happening really, really quick. And I just had to start making moves there. I'm gonna break down my thought process, okay? I'm gonna break my thought process down really quick here. Okay, so let's go back to when the fight initiated. 
Make sure nobody's here. We're good. Okay. So, I wanted to get my traps down on this window because a lot of people like to jump in this window because they think it's safe. But uh, this 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 trap combo will instantly kill them. But the problem is the person saw me. I think the Felice saw me uh, trying to put these traps. She saw me in the window, right? She got a glimpse of me. So she hurry and rushed over to the stairs. So what I did is I got the traps down and I light footed my way uh, over to the door. And I whiffed my Romero shot, but I did a lot of damage to her. And at the same time, she flashed me. So I jumped down and during my flash, I 180'd like this. And since I left his gate open from earlier, I knew I could run in here. And I was using the little prompts. You see how it says press F to close gate? I was using the prompts to figure out where I was. So I saw this. And when I saw this, I went right and I saw the ladder. So I knew where I was. And, um, or maybe I didn't see the ladder. I don't know. But I heard her pushing me and I heard her drop down. So I 180. I, f I kill her. I need to rotate because I hear one above me. I come out the door. This guy swings the corner and I shoot him with Romero. Doesn't kill him. I rotate over here. Uh, I see him again. Shoot with Romero. Don't kill him. And then I uppercut to finish off. From that point, I heard the other one above me here somewhere. So I wanted to get inside again. So I threw a high bomb here just in case he pushes me. So I come back in here. I think I swung around. Uh, what happened, actually? I swung around like this or something. Had to kill the AI. But at the same time, I heard him pushing over to go revive. So I hurry and peeked. And then I got the uppercut shot off and I killed them. If I wasn't playing shotgun in this in this match, I would have lost. Uh, definitely would have lost to the Felice. She would have killed me 100%. Shotgun is super good guys. I think it's probably the best way to play solo. It allows you to uh, fight on your own terms like I've said multiple times this episode. It's very very powerful. We're gonna get to the extract and we're gonna reset this game, okay? So Romero is a really good shotgun. It's great, as you can see, it works. You can make it work. But, um, we had a lot of situations today where if I had a double barrel, it would have been a lot better. I explained earlier how you get a lot more pressure when you have multiple shots from a shotgun. Like right there at the at that fight with the Felice, if I had a double barrel, I could whiff the first shot, but I could land the second one and kill her easily. And then I wouldn't have to jump down and I wouldn't have been blinded or anything like that. And the situation wouldn't have gotten scary, but uh, luckily I was able to make it work. And I was able to move around and rotate and uh, confuse the enemies where I was at. But Romero is great, guys. At the end of the day, Romero Uppercut is like one of the best loadouts. It's very, very consistent. It's very, very powerful. You were able to, uh, you know, you got, you got the, uh, the, the Romero, you're able to push people, you're able to control an area, you're able to lock down a position and fight people on your own terms and then you have the uppercut for the super high damage something you can do is shoot the romero tag them shoot if there's someone at like 20 meters you can shoot them with romero and then swap to the uppercut and shoot them with uppercut and kill them it, it'll usually one shot them in most situations but um again uh, also another thing about uppercut is like you get that mid to long range uh, uh what's the word like, you're able to fight at mid to long range as well, so that's why Romero Uppercut's super nice. Uh, you get very limited ammo, though, with Uppercut. Uh, that's why I played Conversion Spectre in the first episode. I played Conversion because it's basically the same as Upper, except you can't wall bang as much. That's the only thing about Uppercut that you can't really do. Or, sorry, uh, Conversion. But Romero Uppercut, you guys asked for it. You guys got it. We had some good games. We actually got rank 43 hunter. Like, um, let me reshuffle this. We got a level 43 <laughs> redneck <laughs> playing solo versus trail. That's, that's awesome, dude. That is very, very nice. Very, very fun. Very satisfying playing solo and uh, being able to clean these games up. Anyways, boys, I just want to thank you guys all the support and the continued support on the solo series you guys are legends 
If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. If you have any more loadout recommendations, uh, drop that down in the comments. Come to my Twitch stream, ask me about it, whatever you like, man. Like, I I'm always on Twitch. So if you ever want to come over and chat with me, twitch.tv slash gunschmack. Gunschmack, gunsmack. I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, have a good day. Take care and peace, people. Daylight. I'll wait.